Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to beat all five headless in the game and where you can find all of them. So the headless are the most annoying enemies in the game and you should beat all of them at the end of the game where you got the highest attack power to make it a lot easier and you will need the dive skill to reach three of them anyway so you can't really beat them at the start of the game but before you attempt this be sure to get the gourd what will cure terror build up and give you some resistance to it as well you can buy it from the guy near the mibu village idol and you want to stack up on divine confetti as well because if you don't have that you won't be dealing a lot of damage to them you will be able to buy it from the vendors after you beat the real corrupted monk in the fountainhead palace. So the first one you can find in the ash and the outskirts at the stairway idol. So don't get weird. This is the uh, layout of the ash and the outskirts after you defeated the divine dragon. So it's at the end before the final boss fight. So if you go here and go to the right here, grapple on this three branch right here and follow this path to the right. You can see here that you can jump on the three branches here. Um, you want to look down on the right and you can see you can hold the latch right here. And then you see a cave further down. So here, drop down and enter the cave. So get your Divine Confetti at the ready and also the Gord or the Pacifying Agents. So here you want to use the Pacifying Agents or the Gord to just get some resistance to the Terror buildup. So this guy will do a Terror buildup once he hits you. If you block the attacks he will do Terror buildup as well. Only if you deflect it, he won't do terror damage. But this guy really hits weird. So getting the timing right on these attacks are very weird. So be sure to have the pacifying agents active or the gourd. So if you get hit, you don't really get that much terror buildup. So here he teleports away and then he is going to be teleporting in your ass. So you want to turn around and hit him. This is the perfect way to get some good hits in. So you really want him to go teleporting away because then you get some easy hits in. So here I try to get some distance and just kite him a little bit here and just back off. Create some distance because his attacks are really weird to block and deflect. So here he's going to teleport away again. So you want to turn around. So you get some easy hits in right here. So here my Divine Confetti is gone, so you want to back off and activate that Divine Confetti on your sword. Because otherwise you will not be able to deal good damage to him. Here, when you expose your back while he's teleporting, he will grab your ass and picks up shit out of your ass and puts it in his own ass. Not a pleasant feeling really, so be sure to turn around when he's teleporting behind you. Here he is going to teleport away again, so turn your camera around so you can see him. And when he is behind you, you want to turn around and hit him. So we break his posture right here, so we're going to take him down. And from this guy, you get the Aku's Spirit Fall. This will let you do the damage sugar for spirit emblems. Next up is the Headless in the Ash in the Depths in the Hidden Forest. So here, he's directly at the start, down here. Right over there, so if you can see him right there. So activate the gore right here to get some resistance and your divine confetti. So here start attacking him and deflect his attacks if you get the timing right. But he attacks really slow and has some great delay on these attacks. So here he's going to teleport away, same thing here. Turn around and hit him a couple of times. So here, when he's slashing his sword again, you want to be careful here. And here I break his uh, terror stuff thing. So we took down the first health bar here. So back off a little bit and use the gourd again to get some resistance to his terror. So he's going to teleport away. So turn your camera and wait until he is behind you and then turn around and start hitting him. So hit, hit him until he is starting to swing his sword again. So I'm just going to activate my Divine Confetti because I don't want it to be gone when I'm almost even down right here. So here, this guy is down. So on to the next one. 
And this one gives you the stealth sugar. So you can use it for spirit emblems. On to the next one, which you can find in the Sunken Valley, under Shrine Valley. So this is the first idol in the Sunken Valley here. So you want to turn around here and grapple towards this one. And then jump on these ledges right here and climb up. Do it here as well. And then just move alongside this wall here. So to reach this guy, you have to get the ability that you can dive underwater. So this is after you beaten down the fake corrupted monk in the Ash in the Depths. So here is a pool of water. So you want to dive and just follow this path right here. Swim up. And you can already see him right there, so drink your gourds and activate the Divine Confetti. So here, start attacking him. So here, he directly starts with the teleport away. That's good, so turn the camera and wait until he is behind your ass, and then turn around and get some free hits in. So here, you want to be careful with his swings and just wait until he teleports away again. And maybe some kiting to just let him teleport. So here he's kind of slow, so get some hits in here. And we broke the posture, so let's take that health bar down. So now the second one is going to go down. And here, drink some Gort purple stuff, because then you get more resistance and heal the current terror buildup. Here, I'm just going to back off here. Here he will summon the terror wave, so simply just walk towards him, so you dodge it. And you get some hits in here. So he teleports away, turn your camera around, and then yourself when he is going to come back. So here my divine confetti is gone, so couldn't attack him anymore. So here back off and activate that divine confetti. And continue to fight here. So here I'm going to slash him to his death. And that is the third one down. And this guy will give you the sugar to get more posture. For spirit emblems. So the fourth one is in the Ashna Castle underwater. So you want to go to the Old Grave Idol. So follow this path right here and go to the river. So here, just take this guy down for no reason. And then jump into the water. And have your gourd at the ready. So here, drink your gourd. You don't need the Divine Confetti for this, so that's really handy. And you can't activate it anyway in the water, so it was, would be kind of weird if you needed that. But here I'm just dodging the uh, terror waves. And get close. So you want to get him to hit you, really. But here I blocked it and get some hits in. Here he does the vacuum. And when he does this, you want to dodge it and then get behind him. This is the easiest way to get some hits in here. I'm here to activate the gorge right there to get some more resistance to his terror stuff. Try to hit him after the terror stuff, but they will catch up to you, so it's kind of annoying. So here he does the vacuum stuff again, so get behind him and get some hits in. Here, after he slashes, you can just get some hits in after. But the best way is to wait until he does the vacuum grab and then just hit him in his ass. So here I kind of staggered him. I don't know how, but we did it. So here I almost just dodge into the vacuum. And here he, here he hits me. But yeah, let's just get him because he's annoying. So this guy gives you the uh, physical resistance sugar for spirit emblems. And the last one is located in the Fountainhead Palace. This one is in the middle of the water, so grab on this. And you want to go slightly to the left side of it. So here, dive into the water. And swim down. So this one can be a little annoying because there are actually two. There's one original 
that's the one you want to take down and there's one clone further away so it kind of gets annoying here but you want to activate that gourd to get the tarot resistance and what i do here is i just try to hit him after he does some attacks and then just hide behind that fish skeleton and heal up the wounds i got so here he does the attack and i'm trying to hit him after but i still get hit by the other guy but it doesn't really matter that much as long as you don't get killed so keep your health up so here try to hit him after the thing but he keeps attacking me and their attacks are just very annoying so he does the vacuum grab so I'm trying to get some good hits in here was kind of greedy I should have backed off so get one two three hits in should be fine so keep that gourd up to get some resistance so dodge away from the grab and get behind him and get some hits in so here it was staggered so I could have just continued hitting him but I couldn't see so here get some hits in but I'm going to back off here and heal because you want to get that health up Otherwise, you're going to die here. So we almost got him. So let's just get one turn and get the last hits in. And that is him down. And for beating this one, you get the sugar that you get. An insane amount of attack power, but it reduces your health and posture. But that wraps up this guide for taking down all the headless. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. It will help out the video. If you have any more tips to add for this guide, do share them in the comment section. And if you want more related content, go check out the channel and subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss anything. But I thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I see you in the next one.